Hello and welcome in this session we are going to see some basics about uh, pg underscore stat underscore statements. So first of all uh, if you wanted to uh, start with the performance tuning of your Postgre server in that case there are several so everybody has its own way of doing the things but this is there is one of the view which is available in Postgre which has to be added as, as an extension and uh, once it is available you will have some of the options available which with which you can check out what's happening inside your database what all I SQL uh, statement has been executed so just to see what is pg underscore stat underscore statements. So pg underscore stat underscore statement is a module which provides a mean for tracking the execution of all the statements that are executed inside your uh, PostgreSQL server. It, so it is not uh, for a specific database, for it is for the entire server. Right. And uh, how do we activate it? So th this module, uh, this can be added as an extension. So uh, so if you have PostgreSQL contrib available, so that, that will allow you to create an extension. So you have to log into PSQL and you have to uh, execute this command, create extension pg underscore stat underscore statement so that your ex uh, extension will be available. This is not enough. What you have to do is in your PostgreSQL.com file, you have to edit it as a shared preload library so that it can use the shared memory which is available to the PostgreSQL instance. So how do we activate it? To uh, activate it, first of all, uh, the contrib ext extension should be installed on your uh, uh, servers. The second thing is in your PostgreSQL.com in your PostgreSQL.conf, you have to add it shared preload underscore library. So uh, this thing I have already done. So just to quickly show you up how it is looking like. So if I say PSQL and if I try to create or uh, let's first see this parameter, which I have already added. Now let's quit out of this. And you just say uh, uh, query or postgresql.conf and search for shared preload underscore libraries. So you will see that pg underscore state uh, underscore statements is already added over there. This requires a reboot, uh, the restart of your postgresql instance. So I have already start restarted it and this is the first step. Uh, so if you this is also executed because, because this required the restart so I have done it in an advance so it already exists because I have just uh, created it and I have uh, restarted the PostgreSQL instance as well so just talking back about the pg underscore stat uh, underscore statements uh, so this this particular uh, view can be used in your PostgreSQL instance to see what all uh, statements has been executed on your server. There are some related uh, parameters also. Let's see those as well because uh, if you do not combine both of them, it is not going to be helpful. So I'll, I'll show you what are the related configuration parameters which are related to pg underscore stat underscore statement. The first one in that is pg underscore stat underscore statements dot max. So this parameter you have to to check in your PostgreSQL uh, uh, dot conf the default value is 5000. That means this is the maximum number of statements that can be tracked by the module. Right. So uh, this is what it can track. The second one is uh, uh, pg underscore stat underscore statements dot uh, track. So this is this is just to check the it has some uh, options. It will show you the all top or uh, or none. So it is something like uh, do you want to track all the uh, statements which are uh, uh, coming from the client? right and do, or you wanted to track a uh, top label and nested statements so you can mention top all or you if you wanted to disable the statement uh, statistics collection so you can mention none so by default it is top that means it is going to track 
all the statements which are issued by the client and that is valid also you wanted to track how the SQL statements which are coming from the client and how it is behaving inside my database and the another uh, important uh, parameter related to pg underscore stats underscore statements is dot track underscore utility this is having the uh, boolean parameter so it is on or off so it controls whether the module tracks the utility commands or not and the final one in this is a dot save so it specifies uh, whether the statements will be saved when the server restart so you, you need to make a valid uh, decision when you are going to to modify the default values because uh, sometimes it has been observed like pg underscore stat underscore statements has shown the negative impact on the performance of the database of the entire instance so you have to be very careful what parameters you are using because it is going to fetch some uh, portion of the shared memory as well so these are some of the valid things which you can see so pg underscore stat underscore statement dot max if i wanted to keep 10,000, i can do it if i wanted to track all that means the statements which are uh, coming inside the database also if they are behaving improperly they will be also tracked and if you wanted to save the statements after the server reboot also so up to 10,000 sql statements will be uh, available over there there are some additional parameters also if you wanted to save a recording uh, along with your pg underscore stat underscore statements is track io timing if you wanted to track the timings of the io and the sql statement is executed so you can make it as on or you can keep the sql text size to uh, 2048 characters so if you wanted to increase it you can do it so uh, we have this uh, pg underscore stat underscore uh, statements already uh, executed or uh, implemented so we'll see uh, what it talks all about so let us describe the pg underscore stat underscore statements so it has a lot of information which will be be useful when you uh, check the the details about the sql query it has details about the user id it is having the details about the db id then the query id and what is the query in form of the of the text what is the total uh, plan time for the sql query minimum plan time maximum plan time and uh, it, it will show you the total execution time also minimum and uh, maximum execution time then it will show you the details related to uh, block hit hits as well reads and uh, and there are there are a lot more things according to your or your requirement so coming back to if you wanted to see more detailed status you can check it like this and this will show you okay this is going to be useful let's say instead of uh 10 i'll say 5. what i have done done in my sql uh, server uh, sorry in my postgre server is i have uh, imported approx 100 databases and uh, nothing apart from that that involves the creation of the database creation of the indexes and other stuff so if i wanted to see the top five io intensive queries which which queries have taken the most io so it's fetching the information uh, from pg underscore stat underscore statement so it is going to check the block read time and write time so let us execute this so you can see that the two uh, statements one is the alter table for uh, for uh, uh, this particular table which is country uh, underscore country id underscore sequence uh, the, the, there is another statement also which has uh, these two they are coming at the top and there are total five statements which are which are coming as the top io consuming so first is alter table another is uh, a create view so these are top io consuming queries if you wanted to see the top five top five time consuming queries so let's make five so 
So what we are checking this time is we are checking it uh, mean execution time. So the queries which has uh, which has uh, taken more time during the execution, it is it is going to show you that. So it is all create database, not something very uh, what do you say operational in real real time database environment. But this is just for a demo. Like these have taken uh, this much of uh, time. It is not showing the time, but this is in this is the topmost and uh, this is this is the order. Again, you if you wanted to see uh, the total response time for first five queries, I'll make everything five. Otherwise, there will be too much of the data. In terms of the response time, we'll say. These are the five top queries in terms of the uh, response time. So what we are checking here is the uh, SDDAV execution time. So if you use this particular column, this will show you what is the response time. So if you are dealing with the response time, uh, you can check this as well, like who's, who is at the top. And if you wanted to see topmost uh, five SQL queries according to memory requirement, so this will be shared uh, uh, block hit or shared uh, block uh, dirty one. So if you just use this, this is going to show some information. This will help in identification of the issue or in case if you wanted to say like this is consuming, uh, this is this is the consumer and uh, this will help in going to the next level. So this is just for the identification purpose. This is not you are doing something to troubleshoot it. It is you are trying to find out who is doing what. So the next one in this is consumer of temporary uh, space. So this is stamp uh, blocks return. So if you execute this, this will show you who has taken uh, more temporary storage for for the creation. So it is alter table, another is create view. If you wanted to reset the statistics, it is going to discard all the stat uh, statistics which is gathered by pg underscore stat underscore statements. So this is all about pg underscore stat underscore statements. So just to recap, this is one of the good tool or a view which is available in PostgreSQL. And this is available as an extension. First of all, you need to install a contrib package on your system if it is already not installed. Once you have installed it, you have to create the extension create extension pg underscore stats underscore uh, statements and uh, then and uh, you have to enable the uh, postgresql.com file with the shared preload underscore libraries which is pg underscore stat underscore statements make a wise full decision when you are enabling this Though in most of the environment you will be able to see it, but you should uh, make sure that uh, it takes uh, required amount of the shared uh, shared memory as well. So just just understand uh, uh, why you are doing it and uh, what are the different parameters which you are enabling if you are changing the default ones. And uh, these are the the uh, related parameters, which is related to the maximum number of SQL statements. If you wanted to keep a track, track utility, and if after the server reboot, those statements should be saved, then these are the ones. And this is the general one which you can see. And if you wanted to uh, track the I/O timing or uh, activity query size, also, then you can do it. And if you wanted to see the uh, different columns which are available in pg underscore stat underscore statement. This is just to make sure what is that you wanted to find uh, uh, from this. So if you simply say select a star from pg underscore stat underscore statements, it will show you hell amount of thing and it will be difficult for you to find just to find out what is that you are looking for. So this is another problem uh, or challenge with the pg underscore stat underscore statements wherein you have to to make sure uh, you you look for the proper items like uh, from where you have to start troubleshooting because the, it is filled with a lot of information and uh, and you have to make a choice from where you have to start the identification of the problem 
so everything depends upon what situation you are in and from where and what category of information you wanted to fetch out so there are n number of things which are available and it all depends upon your selection of of the item from where you wanted to start with this is just a basic there is no ending of pg underscore stat underscore statements but but just make a wise decision like uh, what you wanted to do with this but in in most of the real production environment it it really helps to troubleshoot the issue i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you